Hey there, Internet. How's it going? Your boy John from John Grave Show. And this week in Strike the Blood, we do kind of have a very, very, very different feel upon how upon how they handled the uh, the story this 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 week. That's not to say that um that's that's not to say that um the villain who that they kind of like or at least like they or or at least like right out the gate gate this episode they go. Or legit, just like just like previous arcs, they do kind of like just go straight, straight forward and have a villain who does seem cartoonishly evil, and then they kind of just force them, or at least like they, or at least like we see them doing something in which that they like attack people and kind of prove their uh, superior fighting ability. But then, but then it's like this. This is actually a villain who actually like takes a bit of initiative and actually like tries to actually attack. Our main character, not poss. I mean, like, um, with him honestly trying to like do something, which like what he's looking for, and and honestly, it does kind of play play into that. This week is um uh, and and a lot of the things which that um he he is wishes that uh, wish that uh he is an alchemist. They do kind of talk about that a little bit. Talk about what do alchemists want. Or at least, like, what is their basic um, uh, consensus of what they want, and also relating like what happened to Kojo uh, um, uh, as a form of um, uh, as a form of alchemy, you know, with possibly his um, uh, with um, uh, with uh, the girl uh, with with the girl who uh, who have infused with him. Also, it's like um, uh, also for this one, it does kind of, again. It does paint our villain as like cartoonishly evil because he's always laughing and always and always possibly trying man to scheme over things and is honestly using the thing to to bring his master back and also uh achieve a realistic uh, I mean um achieve immortal life. That's kind of his goal. And also to bring his master back, the woman who taught him or possibly saved his life with with the same uh, invention in which that um, in which that uh, he he used at the end of the episode to possibly bring her back as a um, uh, as a gooey blood blood monster. <laughs> so um, there are the few things in the uh, in this episode which did kind of like just come off as like just like just mindlessly friendly stuff or you know just like just meh stuff was the fact that um you know what's name. Uh, with uh, Yukina giving up her service duties, and now and now and now Kojo and her are actually like talking like like a couple and everything, you know, stuff like that. It's like, mm, eh, dude, we had these conversations before, and they really are getting pretty weird, <laughs> or at least or at least not weird, but they're getting, but they're really getting naggy. In uh, in a sense, in which that like she's telling him on the bus, like like uh, you can't drink other girls' blood and stuff like that. It's like, it's like it's fun and everything, but at the end of the day, it's like yeah, you come off as kind of a nag. But but honestly, you know, we do kind of like see um, we do honestly see like uh, yeah, man, this guy is actually planning on like using uh, bringing his master back, and also. He does seem like a very, very, very evil person by uh, by uh, tricking this this one guy to summoning her back and trying man to to um um you you use her power and then that that's what she turned into uh, the blood monster. On the bad side of this episode, we do kind of, um um we do have a repeat of the last arc with uh Akatsuki um, um, um uh, with uh, a Kojo and um. And uh, Asagi, in which that she's on the phone, something bad is going to happen. And honestly, when bad things do happen on oh, man the phone, Kojo just sit, just sits in wherever he's at, telling her to leave, even though he knows that um uh, she isn't. And then honestly, something bad happens to her, and you know he's just like blah 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 blah. You know what I mean? You shouldn't be doing that. Instead of him just like just leaving and running off to where um uh, she's at because. Because he knows that um uh, the area is dangerous, and he knows that that honestly Asagi was not going um uh, to leave no matter what, mostly because she's a girl who likes him and everything man, that um uh, he gives her, she cherishes that thing one hundred percent. So, 
That's kind of what I got to say about that. What do you guys think about it? Please tell me on the next, I mean, please tell me down there in the comment section. I'll see you guys on the next John Graves show. I am out.